Hey, what's up, everybody? Coach BJ here. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Um, I am making a video a little later in the day than what I normally would. Um, I just wanted to make this video because this is something that crossed my mind. Um, just, um, <clears throat> just because it's something that we all go through in life. Uh, myself, you, uh, people you know, we all have gone through this. And that's when it seems like, it almost just seems like everything is coming against you in a way. It just seems like you're being attacked like from every end. It's like, you know, it seems like you're having, you know, trouble come from every different area of life. It could be your relationship, your marriage, it could be uh, on your job, it could be financial, um, you know, it could be uh, problems with your kids. Um, it could be a number of things. And one of the things uh, I wanted to share with you all is that if it's happening to you, it's not abnormal. And I wanted to give you uh, just some simple words of peace uh, that can uh, help you rest easy tonight. Um, and also just to let you know that everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. And uh, one of the things I wanted to share with you is that once something like this starts to happen, when you start to feel like just things are coming up against you, uh, that's a sign that a major breakthrough is, is going to happen in your life. It's a sign that a major breakthrough is coming into your life. And the reason why it seems like you're being attacked is for that very reason. It's because there is a breakthrough coming. You're probably asking me, well, BJ, how does that make sense? If, if a breakthrough is coming, then then why am I, why am I dealing with all this? Why, why is all this trouble coming my way? That's because the devil doesn't want you to have what God has for you. And because he sees how big the blessing is coming into your life, he sends out his best troops your way to try and distract you, try and discourage you, try and knock you off course. That's the devil's job. Steal, kill, destroy. That's what he does. And if he can knock you off course and distract you from what God truly has coming into your life, he's going to send whatever he can your way to discourage you, to, to, to make you sad, to make you feel like you're alone and isolated and that nobody cares. And I'm here to tell you that that is not true. None of it's true. The devil's a liar. That's what he does. He lives to lie. He wants to deceive you. He wants to trick you into thinking that this is all that life has to offer. When that's not true. There's so much more to life that God truly has for you. And he wants to bless your life in such a tremendous way. That's going to blow your mind. Whatever you think is normal, God wants to shatter that. He wants to bless you in ways that are just going to blow your mind. God wants to do exceedingly, abundantly, above and beyond all that you can ask or think. That's who God is. So whenever you feel that there are attacks coming against you, that's a sign that the devil is trying to distract you from a blessing that God has for you. Stay the course. Keep your head up high. And know that whatever is happening, it's not happening to you. It's happening for you. And I know that sometimes it seems like you're going through dark times. And I want you to understand that when a seed is planted, they don't see any sunlight. It's dark. It's cold. It, it looks like nothingness. It looks like nothing's happening. But that seed is being watered. It's being nourished in the darkness. So when you're in the darkness, just know that you're not buried. You're planted. You're planted to sprout up and to become the beautiful flower that God has for you to be. God created you to live an abundant life. Not to just get by, not to just barely make it, not to struggle, not to live in lack. God wants to bless you with more than enough blessings. He wants you to live in abundance. He wants you to live in prosperity. He wants to bless you so much that you won't, so that you won't have a choice but to be a blessing to others. That's who God is. And that's how he wants to bless your life. So I want you to know today that if you feel attacks coming at you, if you feel like, oh man, just life is hard right now. If that's what you feel, understand that this is something that you're going through. It's not something where you're staying. It's not a place where you're staying. You're not buried. You're planted. A seed is only planted for a certain amount of time and then it sprouts. And I want you to understand that you are being planted. You're being watered. It might not look like nothing's working. It might not look like anything's happening. But it's only because 
God works in the supernatural plane. He doesn't work here in the physical. We can only see things with our naked eye, but we can't see things in the supernatural plane. We can't see that God has the angels going to work for you right now, that he's moving things, moving the right people to put you in position to walk into abundance, into a place that's gonna bless you and shoot you to a place of prominence that you could not make it to on your own. God is fighting off unseen forces that are out to attack you and out to get you. He's protecting you from things that are trying to take you down that you can't even see, but he sees it. So understand that you're in God's frame. You know, they say that, oh, he framed me. Well, in this case, it's actually good to be framed. I want to be in the frame of God. I want to be in that frame because once you're in God's frame, there's nothing that can enter that frame, no matter how scary or how threatening it might look or how big it might look or how intimidating or how close they even might get to you to where it seems so scary, almost like you can feel just the air of that, of that, of that fear, that challenge. They can't enter into the frame. You're protected. You're God's most prized possession. You're his masterpiece. And I want you to know that the blessings that are coming for you are going to blow your mind. And then you'll see that everything that you went through, the times that you struggled through, the times where you didn't know how you were going to make it through, it's going to make you feel that much more excited to give God the praise when you come out. Because you'll look back and see, I made it. I made it through. In the Bible, there's a scripture. I'll have to look it up where it says, it was good that I was afflicted. Because when you're afflicted, and when you make it over into your promised land, you can truly look back at that time where you were afflicted and you struggled. And you can be so grateful and thankful that God brought you out of that and brought you into the promised land. You're entering into the palace. You're coming into a season of blessings. You're coming into more than enough blessings. You are getting ready to enter into the land flowing with milk and honey. You might be in the wilderness right now, but the promised land is just on the other side. And I wanted to encourage you and inspire you today to let you know that it might seem hard, it might seem rough, but God is on his throne and he wants to bless you. He wants to take you to the next level of your life. Promotion is coming for you. Increase is coming for you. Abundance is coming for you. More than you can ask or think. And you'll see that all of this was necessary to build you up, to prepare you for the blessings that he has in store for you. So I hope you receive this into your spirit today and know that God lives for you. He loves you. He cares for you. He died for you. And now he lives for you. You can come to him at any time. You don't just have to do this through me. You can talk to God any time because he's always available. He's given us access to talk to him anytime. So get to know him. He's such a good God. He's so amazing. And he loves you more than I can ever put into words. Having a conversation with God is just as easy as talking to one of your best friends. To a friend that you can share any secret with. To a friend you can share your goals with. To a friend that you can just talk to about anything. That's who God is. You don't have to come up with any elaborate words and try to come up with some speech prepared. Just talk to him. You're his child. He knows who you are. I want you to know who he is. So I hope you receive this into your spirit. I thank you so much for all of you who watch this. I really appreciate you, all of those who are subscribed uh, to my channel and follow me along in my journey from doing Michael Myers videos to, um, you know, doing a lot more, uh, you know, positive uh, content to uplift your spirits. And I have some other things coming in on my channel as well, but this is who I am. I'm more than just Michael Myers. I'm more than just, you know, somebody who does scare pranks. I'm more than just a fitness coach. I am actually somebody who wants to empower you and to let you know that you can achieve and do anything in your life that you desire to do. So if you haven't already, if this video uh, made you feel good, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps uh, the YouTube algorithm uh, so that more people can see it. And then drop a comment down below. The battle is not yours.
but God's. The battle is not yours, but God's. Comment that down below. The battle is not yours, but God's. Make it personal. The battle is not mine. It's God's. The battle is not mine. It's God's. Because God can fight any battle much better than you can. He can fight any battle for you much better than you can for yourself. So give it to him. As a matter of fact, he wants the battle. He wants the battle so that his name can be glorified. We can't do it all on our own. If we could, we'd be in a much better place in this world. But we're not. You know why? Because this world has gotten so far away from giving God the praise and we need to come back to that. And I feel like we are. And I'm happy about that. So give this video a thumbs up, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell icon so that way you can be notified whenever I upload new content to the channel. You guys stay tuned for the next uh, video coming. Hope you guys all have an amazing blessed day and I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless you. Peace out.